Stranger Things has a problem. No, it's not the overlong and honestly a little bit bloated season 4, which is in desperate need of an editor, but it's that Stranger Things only has consequences for its new characters. It introduces a new character. Do you happen to have these in any other colors? I'm not a big fan of orange. And then kills them off. <laughs> introduces a new character. Even Narda. Kills them off. I think it's my year, Anderson. New character. Kills them off. And so forth and so on. But those main characters from season one, they have plot armor. To have real consequences in a world that is as dangerous as this one, everyone should be on the chopping block. I mean, look at Steve. He was pretty much half eaten to death, and if you were like me, I assumed he'd be poisoned in pretty much next go. But only a couple episodes later, it's like the whole ordeal never happened. Now think if he would have died in the finale of season 4. How fitting of a conclusion would it be for that character? He finally realizes what he wants, what he's been searching for, and discovering for seasons but it's cut short. It's a perfect character arc for him. He's come such a long way. I really don't want to see the love triangle that they're setting up here, and this just seems like a natural conclusion for this character. Mind you, a very depressing one, but it would have worked perfectly. It would have ripped out my heart while watching it, and that's what I look for in this show. Rather, we get this. Now don't get me wrong, Eddie's death was sad, but what exactly is he doing here? Why must he die? Distracting bats from going back to the house? It seems like there's no immediate danger, and he's just sacrificing himself for the sake of sacrificing. Don't get me wrong, Dustin sells this, and really, Eddie's incredible in these moments, but in terms of why he needs to die, as well as that character growth, he learns to not run away, I guess? Now, of course, that's oversimplifying, but I don't think it comes even close to what could happen with Steve. When we spend a multi-season arc with a character that concludes in a devastating way, we'd feel it to our core, other than a character that we really only have gotten to know over maybe a couple episodes. I mean, he's not even in majority of season four. It just seems like the Duffer brothers want to kill off people, but not the ones they really love. Now, the only exception to this rule is Billy. Now, Billy had everything that I'm talking about here. Character growth, an amazing end, and sure, he was only in it for two seasons, and largely wasn't himself for most of it, but even that extra time that we spent with him makes his story just hit so much harder, and it made for my favorite ending of any Stranger Things season so far. But the problem here goes even further, because it's one thing to not kill main characters, but it's another thing to keep on doing the fake out, and immediately taking back a character's death. Like this amazing moment of Hopper dying, and only in minutes later, nope, he's in Russia now. Yeah, 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 Americans. Max dies. An amazing and emotional scene really had me tearing up. That, nope, just in a hospital bed. I really hope there are consequences to Max being in the state, but I think allowing Max to die would have been so much more impactful. This whole group leading the season five would be defeated, and rage fueled leading into that new season. It would give this energy and this anticipation that they've really lost someone important. It's a minor nitpick, but one that I think that actually matters. Like if you think back to Game of Thrones or even The Walking Dead, not talking about the quality here guys, but if you think about the seasons where they had character moments, characters going to battles, I was on the edge of my seat because anyone could bite the dust. When in Stranger Things, every time Max was in danger, Vecna took his sweet ass time. It's one of those conveniences that the main characters just have that really bothers me. Now, Stranger Things is one of the best shows on TV. There's no denying it. But I can't help see the cracks in their stories and how their logic just doesn't extend to the main characters. It seems like they want their cake and to eat it too. They want to have those important massive character deaths, but only to the new characters. I didn't run away this time, right? So what do you think? Do you think this is a real problem or am I looking too far into this? What do you think about the most recent season of Stranger Things? Let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.